Hi guys and uh, welcome back to another video from uh, RencoTraders.com. In this video we're going to take a look at uh, TradeSignal Online or TradeSignal.com which is a German based online charting platform. Um, this company has been around for quite a couple of years. I've been using them on and off but quite recently they started to uh, revamp the charting interface and uh, bringing it up to date with uh, using the HTML5 technology and uh, stuff it's become a lot more interesting to uh, use trade signals online charting platform now what you're looking at is uh, the website for tradesignal.com um, you need to create a free account especially if you want to save your charts and uh, settings um, creating an account is free of cost and uh, also you get a couple of freebies such as uh, Forex data which is free of cost on a free account but um, if you need intraday data for uh, for the stock markets then you need to uh, pay a subscription fee of about 17 euro per month but uh, that's that's uh, secondary uh, because you can still access the end of day data free of cost okay so let's quickly run through um, trade signal online charting interface the uh, the website is uh, pretty straightforward actually there's uh, you click on charting and you you have a couple of options let's click on new chart as you can see in my browser I have this add-on uh, I have uh, the add-on uh, um, what do you call it? a toolbar um, now this happens when you um, run trade signal online for the first time it uh, prompts you to add this uh, toolbar to your browser so you can actually start searching directly from the toolbar itself now as you can see um, I'm on a new page and uh, would like to test check the charts for euro USD and there you see you you directly go to the trade signal charting interface um, the interface is uh, pretty straightforward um, looks similar to most of the charting platforms on the left side you've got the search for the symbols as you can see you have a lot of choices you could select indices stocks which is uh, mostly european stocks german stocks to be to be precise you've got uh, futures markets again most of them are from urex and uh, ice you have a couple of uh, futures from nibot and uh, globex You've got a good selection of uh, forex instruments as well. A couple of uh, funds, ETFs. You also have bonds, both corporate and uh, sovereign bonds. So as you can see, the the um, trade signal has a wide choice of uh, instruments that you can use. So this is the chart for Euro USD. On the left side, you've got the instruments. Um, let's continue with uh, the couple of um, other options. The second button is uh, save charts. You can create your folders and uh, run your uh, analysis. For example, this is a past uh, analysis that I've done for Euro USD. I'll get back to this shortly. Um, you also have uh, indicators there is basically a wide choice of indicators that you can use and you also have a couple of inbuilt strategies that uh, you can use for backtesting for example let's see um, you just need to click on uh, the on the strategy and it automatically adds to the chart um, the lower section of the chart uh, shows the uh, performance of uh, the trading strategy you can run a couple of um, settings and, uh, and whatnot so let's get to this later First, focus on uh, completing the tour from trade signal. You can also set alerts. Uh, for example, I can set an alert for 
a breakout of uh, 1.07489 and I would get an email. So this basically summarizes the uh, left section of uh, Trade Signal online screen. On the right you have uh, drawing tools. Um, let me select a different a different chart. Okay. Um, let me switch back to candlesticks and move all the way to Renko. Okay, so this is how your typical chart looks like. You need to obviously change to a Renko chart. So you just click on uh, click on the candlesticks, which opens up this browser, this uh, pop-up window. You click on the first icon, and uh, you can select Renko. Under the settings, you can select the brick size to be either a percentage or absolute points. Here it's five points and a reversal of two bricks. You can select a reversal of as many bricks as you want. And this basically tells you how many bricks before a reversal box can appear. The standard setting for a normal red bull chart is two bricks. You also have a couple of customizations that uh, you can just play around with or just ignore. Show thresholds, show you the next potential levels of uh, movement. You can also change the colors. And there you go. And you can also set the brick highlight colors. So this is how you run a uh, Renko chart for EURUSD. Now, the time period is important. Here right now, the chart that you're looking at is basically pulling closing prices from the daily chart. So for intraday, you could select uh, 10 minutes. And there you go. This is the 10-minute uh, base chart for a 5-point uh, or 50-cent gold Renko chart. Okay, now let's add a couple of indicators. Let's look at bands. Okay, so that's your Bollinger bands. Um, you you have lots of uh, indicators to play around with. This is the first time I'm looking at uh, the turtle donuts. Okay, now you can select the Bollinger Band um, using the same process. Just click on the entry. And you can basically run the uh, customize, set the transparency. And here you have. Let's take a look at uh, the stochastics. Okay, so you've got five three three. Let's change it to fourteen three three. Okay, and you have the oversold and uh, overbought levels. Now let's quickly look into uh, the drawing tools. You've got uh, quite a good selection of drawing tools. You've got arrows. This would be your linear regression lines. I'm um, sorry, the trend channel. Now again, you can apply this on uh, price or on other indicators as well. Let me show you again. So I select the trend channel and 
I select it on the pole in Japan, it gives me a completely different setup. Okay, so I'll just select and delete. Uh, let me get rid of the Poly Japan as well. Okay, let's go a couple of support and resistance lines. So we've got a broadening triangle here and a potential breakout. Let's use the Fibonacci tool and go to settings. Let's select 161.8. And here we go. So, gold is going to fall to 1233.92 on an intraday basis. So, these are some of the tools that you can use. You also have um, the pitchfork tool, which needs a bit of getting used to the way to plot this. And of course, you have the annotation tools. Right here. So this basically summarizes uh, the trade signal online chart. As you can see, it's quite intuitive. You can also move around and uh, run multiple layouts of the charts and uh, basically do quite a lot of things. Um, let's switch the layout back to one to one. Um, the overlay doesn't work for Renko charts but uh, it does for candlestick charts. So guys um, this basically summarizes uh, the Renko charts for trade signal online. As you can see it is free of cost. Um, you have the option to publish the charts, um, save as image, um, do a lot more things. Um, I would put it on the same uh, level as uh, trading view charts, um, except that, of course, trading view gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of what you can do with the intraday charts and stuff. Um, the free charts at uh, trading trade signal online is um, definitely worth considering, especially if you stick only to trading forex. And if you want to analyze a couple of German stocks with the end of day markets. So I hope you found this uh, video to be helpful. And uh, please uh, like and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, thank you. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, write it down below. Thank you and have a good day.